What's going on guys? Welcome back and today we're going to be talking about React life cycles and also we're going to be looking at local storage because we're going to be developing more on this bucket list app. Um, so life cycles, what are they? They're basically the states of a component. So if we actually look it up, I already pulled it up. So, not. so that way you don't have to like look at me type. So for mounting, we have four states or four life cycles. We have the constructor, static, get derived state from props, the render, and component did mount. So we already know two things, the render and constructor. We already know about these two. The one we're going to be looking at is component did mount, the one component did update, and component will amount. These are the three we're going to be up, I mean, looking at. So, like I said, mounting has one that we're not going to be looking at. Later on in the videos, we, we are going to be looking at these. But updating, here's another one. There's three that we're not going to be looking at, but we are going to be, don't worry about it, in later videos. But let's just look at those three first of all. So, in our app, I'm going I'm to a, I'm a tie these uh, methods to our bucket list app uh, class or a component. So when this component loads on the screen, component did mount, it's going to say component did mount. See right there, if I actually refresh it, you're going to see component did mount because it obviously it mounted on here. Now for the update, component did update. If I actually remove one, you see component did update. If I add one, add option, it's because this component, the bucket list app component is updating, right? Every time I add something or remove something, it'll update. Now for the component will amount, this one will actually be called when a component is actually removed from the DOM. So to do that, I already have I already written one, so I don't have to do it. I just created a new element and I'm just completely erasing this bucket list component off the map. So when I press enter, it says component will amount, which it did amount because I replaced everything with just P tags. That's it. So we're gonna be looking at these three with local storage and how it's going to work together. We're gonna to be focusing on component did update first, so let's get to it. So actually component did update takes in three arguments. One is prev props, and the other one is prev state, and the last is snapshots, but we're not gonna be using snapshots, so I'm not even going to add it in there. All right. So one thing you do gotta know, you need to know about, let me actually undo that. The one thing you do need to know about local storage is that it's string based, meaning that everything is going to be saved as a string. And once you request it, it's going to give you a string. So just take that, take that into consideration when you're look, working with local storage. Also, we're gonna be learning just how to set an item and get an item, meaning save data and retrieve data, okay? So in the component did update, we're gonna be focusing on saving data because every time it updates, that means that we change something, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is literally check if there's, if the previous state options is the same as the current state options. If that's true, then that means nothing has changed and I don't want to change anything. Like I said before, the reason why I'm checking is because if I do remove all, oops, if I refresh, if I do remove all, oh, what's happening? What is ha Oh, save it. I was working on it. If I remove all and I just keep on hitting that, you're going to see that this keeps on updating. Even though nothing's changed at all, this keeps on updating. That's why I'm looking it up. I mean, I'm checking for that kind of stuff. So right here, I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to save it so that way you know what I'm trying to do. So if prev state dot options dot length does not equal this dot state dot options dot length, if it doesn't equal that, that means that something did change and I want you to go ahead and update it. So just to see if that's working or not, control save, remove all. And yeah, 
it doesn't it doesn't keep on updating which is awesome so this is the part where we're going to actually start saving our stuff so i'm going to create a variable const json is going to equal i'm going to grab all the data that's in options right now and save that to local storage now like i said you got to take in consider consideration that local storage is string based so i have to do what i have to do is stringify json dot stringify stringify this dot options this dot state dot options and that's going to give me an object of a stringified version or a, an array of a string array string a string of an array yeah i don't know next i'm going to save it so local storage dot set item that's how you save it we're going to set an item and set item takes in two things the key value pair even says right there key value pair so the key what i want to save it as is options you can name it whatever you want but i'm gonna name it options for obvious reasons and we're gonna save our json data with the one we just created up here control save now what if i add something like read more books and go right here go to local storage dot get item what i want to get is options yep we get our array back and we should get our yeah three things in there awesome 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 so now that this is working correctly we're going to focus on component did mount and for this i'm gonna do a try catch block you know if something goes wrong uh i don't want it to break my stuff so try catch block and if it's a error then i'm just i'm gonna assume there's not gonna be errors so we're not gonna do nothing with the catch block yet so the try block what we're going to do in here is const we're gonna have to actually grab our you know our data in from local storage so local storage dot get item options now we have the stringified version of our data now we need to parse it so we actually get our data back our data the way we want it so const op, op, yeah was, options is going to equal dot parse and what are we parsing? Our JSON, the one we just got back. So this gives us the data that the way we want it. Now, what do we want to do? Now, there might be a possibility that options does come back as null. And if that's the case, then we don't want to set options to, or we don't want to set the state of options to null. So what I'm going to check for if is if there are actually options there's an options or something inside of options, then we're going to do this dot set state. You already know this. You already know this. Options. And bada bing, bada boom. We should have it. Add option. Awesome. If I refresh. All of our stuff is still there, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. It's pretty cool. Keep on refreshing. Yeah, if I remove, refresh. Yep, remove, refresh. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's, that's all I literally want to talk to you about <laughs> in this video. It was pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. I just, you know, these are life cycles. So now you know a little bit more about life cycles and how they're actually helpful, right? So, um, one thing I did change before I even leave or uh, what end this video is I did do this. So I didn't talk about it, but if I actually comment this out, this is what I had in my previous code. If I add something, this text stays there and I really hate it every time you add something. So what I did was just added this bit of code. So every time I do add something to it, this, it gets erased from the input value, which makes it super user friendly yeah anyways that is it for this video guys we talked about three life cycles component did update component will 
unmount and component did mount. Those are the three life cycles we talked about in this video. And we actually incorporated local storage also in this video as well. So I hope you learned something guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And honestly, I do thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I don't know why I keep on saying and, um, here I go with the ums. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just see you in the next video. Okay. Oh, by the way, in the next video, we are going to be talking about Webpack, So stay tuned for that. It is going to get, our life is going to get a bit more complicated before it gets more easier to develop with react. So, I mean, if you're interested about learning Webpack, stick around, stick around, you're going to learn something. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you.